Hello guys and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. This is the Aquarius Expedition. We're now about to start phase four, but we have to reach the next rendezvous point. We are going to just check out how far that is. I don't think I have enough warp cells to be able to go there right now. Let's have a look. Oh. It's only two jumps away, and I think I might have enough. So we're going to jump to this next one. And then we're going to jump to the one after that straight away. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying these videos because I love making them. I love this game. I love the environment, the worlds, the, the worlds update is amazing. And I'm really loving the, the expedition. And it's unfortunate that I am on to phase four. And obviously we're going to be doing phase four five in this same video which is going to be a bummer but uh it needs to be done you know so we're, oh shoot coming in hot jesus what the heck okay that i was not expecting <laughs> so we do have enough warp cells to go straight to the next rendezvous point which is awesome it saves a lot of time if you saw the last video it, there was six jumps we needed to do to get to that um rendezvous point so this one is <laughs> much easier but once we see the challenges then we'll know how hard this phase four might actually be i'm really excited to get the new jet well the the backpack jet pack it's a, like a water pack i think i actually haven't seen any videos of it or any pictures and i'm not going to ruin it for myself looks like maybe some players are around here this is a temperate planet i'm not sure what that is i can't remember Hmm, this looks quite perfect timing, right? As soon as we get here, there's a storm. It looks like a water planet by the looks of things. It's mainly underwater. We do have a player ship there. All right, so the storm is not, it's not so good. And the waves are getting a bit hectic. He's having trouble staying afloat. He's probably going to a ship. Okay, and we have found the next rendezvous point. Okay, there's the, like an underground, uh, I mean underground, there's an underwater something here. So the next rendezvous point is actually underwater. That's kind of cool. What is this thing? Is this like a sunken boat? I don't know what I'm looking at here. Alright, so I'm just going to wait for this storm to finish and then we'll fish up a message in a bottle. Alright, perfect. Storm is clearing. The sun is shining, the weather's great, let's use this guy's skiff. So we need to fish up a message in a bottle, I can't remember like, how long this takes, so I'll just skip to when I find one. Alright, the skiff is doing my head in, to be honest, this is much easier, I'm just gonna fish from here. Alright. Straight away, we got it pretty quickly. Uh, find the angler's legacy. So what does that require us to do? Find the fiery scales of the angler's legacy. Locate a suitable one and cast your line. Okay. I've not seen this one yet. Let's go to a suitable fishing spot. Maybe like right here. Some sort of flying fish over there. I don't know. It's like eels that fly, apparently. We're gonna join our friend over here. Because why not? <laughs> Let's make a friend. This dude is doing some weird movements. What the heck is going on here? Oh my gosh! Okay, we've found the angler. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, thank goodness. We spent... Am I still recording? Oh yes, okay, I got that on record as well. I've been fishing here for so long. Oh god, it's probably been in real time. I've probably been here for like 30 minutes. So, uh, there's no trick to this. I'll show you what I was using. 
uh, green scale bloater yeah, I was using to fish for this um, and I managed to catch the angler there might be if you can use something with a higher chance rate like you see down here it says um, like catch rarity improvement this is only 15% so I would probably recommend to use something with a higher chance rate and you could probably find it earlier than uh, yeah I was here for probably 30 minutes just constantly fishing so yeah oh that's great amazing I'm so happy now <laughs> So now we got the scales of fire, which was actually very hard to, not hard, but it just took a long time. But we've got an ornament, a ship interior ornament. So how does that, how do we do that? Can we add it to this? Let's go in first person here. Oh, maybe it's a, uh, oh wow. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Let's go in first person and check this out. Yeah, okay, so we've got like an octopus. That's cool. This is new. This is pretty new, so that's really cool. And it's cool how they've... Obviously, they'll have a lot of different ship interior designs, and they've done it for every single ship interior, I imagine. So that's really cool. It's like a little octopus. Okay, and so for our next one is catch three fish that are only active in a storm. And there was literally a storm not even long ago. So what we're going to do here is uh, probably one of the other quests for now. Record an underwater, record an underwater creature over 100 kilograms. What does that mean, record? Discover an aquatic creature weighing... Oh. Okay. I can probably do that. 100 kgs. I say I could do that, but there's not a lot of creatures around. There's some things over here. Let's see how much these guys weigh. How much does he weigh? 61 kgs. Okay, this might be harder than we thought. And also sell 500,000 worth of fish. So, yeah, okay. So that, that's fine and everything, but how do we get those fish to... Uh, if I spawn in my skiff, can I transfer those... Okay, you can't transfer those into your ship. You have to carry them in your inventory, so that makes things a bit difficult here. Just go make our way to a space station. We're going to sell the fish that we have on us. We can probably carry a bit more, actually, if we can destroy some things like... Give me that... Oh, when did I get this? A well-preserved marine treasure found deep under the ocean. When did I find that? I don't know when I found that, but I'm going to keep it. This here looks so much like a pelican. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But Halo? Pelican? Oh, I saw something... I saw a big fish. That's a big fish. That is definitely over 100 kgs. Surely. Is the... Come on. Scan, scan, scan. There we go. That's the challenge. Woohoo! That's a big fish though. What is that? Jeez, look at it. Nice. It's like a moray eel. Like a big chunky one. I don't know. Makes weird noises. Okay, so that was now, this one is done. We got some deadly cold ice cream. We've already done that one, so now we need a storm and we need to just keep selling our fish. So I'm gonna be doing that in between. I'm gonna be selling my fish in between and, and hopefully we can, um, you know. 
Alright, so we still need to catch the fish in a storm. And we need to sell a bunch of fish too. So the best way to do that, I would say, is probably if we just keep, you know, uh, transferring fish from myself and my starship. Uh, fr from this into myself and my starship. Yeah, so we should be able to fit a lot more this time. I removed some things from my inventory. How much can we fit? Okay, seem full. If we go like this, uh, quick transfer. We've got five slots available. That should be okay. Here we go. So we'll go sell all these. That might be enough to um, complete that next challenge. All right, we're back here, and we're just gonna sell like all those fish. We should get a decent amount actually, probably from that. Which I don't really mind too much because this is a this isn't my main character. Okay, so we've now sold. Oh, there's one more left. We've now sold all the fish. Okay, we've we nailed that one. Easy. So now we need to go back and uh, yeah, we need to catch three fish that are around during the storm, which isn't that hard. We just need to wait for a storm. So we're going to go back, wait for a storm, I'll be back once the storm starts. Alright, so the storm is starting, let's get the fishing rod out, we don't have any bait. I'm back on the boat, but <laughs> that's fine, we'll just start fishing now. Olden jellyfish, that must be a storm creature, right? No, still not a, gold, uh, a storm creature, but that's pretty cool. That whole storm, we didn't catch one fish for this challenge. Unless we get something. No, the storm's gone now. Damn. This one's going to be trickier than I thought. Yes. Oh my gosh. Finally. There we go. That's the fins of thunder finished. And what's the next? What do we have to do now? Collect reward. That's it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Congratulations, traveler. All primary expedition goals complete. Your save will convert to a standard save if you wish to continue. Earn rewards can be collected on any save <clears throat> via the really earned rewards can be collected on any save oh all right so we're gonna check out this new backpack jetpack and that does look pretty awesome that's really cool actually I love it so that's the full set and the anomaly species I'm going to switch over to my main character now and see what it looks like on that one. Okay, and so here we are as one of the robot guys. I forgot what the race is called, but I'm going to go and see what the new the new kit looks like on this character. I think I have to go up to the uh, the rewards post first, the counter that's here maybe. Collect expedition rewards. Yes. Okay, so it seems like the uh, what's it called? The autophage, autophage. You can't use the new armor on these guys. So that kind of it's kind of annoying. But we can. Let's see. Okay, you can't on that race either, nor can you on the Corvax, or the Viking, or the Gek. You can only use it on uh, on this guy, but I mean, we'll do that for now. Alright, so I'm not too sure what colour to go with at the moment, but this is good for now. I like the yellow on the white. It doesn't match the ship that I have, 
but we'll sort that out another time. But for now, that's going to be it. That's the expedition done and dusted. And I really enjoyed that. I'll be back in the next one.